Kundalini rising, what is she devising? This is the Strong Body, Strong Soul Show. I am Maria. Come along for the ride. I am so thrilled to share this interview with you. Master Urkelano. He is a sixth degree black belt in Tang Sudo Karate and he joined me for an awesome conversation. We are talking in this particular interview about breath work, about Tai Chi, and he's giving us all a little bit of advice of what not to do. We get a little silly at the end. Hang on to your panties like I tell my kids. Some fire is coming at you. Here we go. We're going to switch to breathing techniques. You can feel somebody's energy when you walk into the room. It goes hand in hand with bullying, yes, right? Yes. That energy? Breath work can change the energy of a situation. If you know anything about the adrenaline response in the body, your body's pumping adrenaline and, you're, and, you're, and you find yourself in a state of mind that makes it hard to manage, hard to, to think, breathing brings you back to that calm state that allow you to assess the situation to make a better decision, not just a rash, uh, radical decision based on d the feeling in your body. Yeah, well, because fear does that too. You totally. hyperventilate yes. and you do something out of character or out of, out of reaction instead of like we were talking, mindfulness. I hear you describe how to do a kia. Yes. That breath has to come from a certain part in your diaphragm. Exactly. And explode out of your body. Yes. And be a sound yes. that affects the people around you. Yes. It's almost like, <laughs> like being a superhero, right? Yep. If you're gonna get beat up, if you're being approached by somebody and you go, no, they can feel your vibration. Yes. Yeah, I, I just that's I, I uh, you know I always I always remember um, you know growing up I could hear my, my dad's voice he would say hey everybody in the room yeah stops. what you know what are you doing you know for if getting too rambunctious yes I, I've uh, four brothers and like, three three sisters <laughs> a brother and the five of us get going and then there's right. yes and so that voice can cut through the thing breathing is a uh, fascinating uh, study uh, topic because it's both controlled by the conscious and the unconscious mind. Uh -huh. So you breathe whether you want to or not, or you can breathe consciously and bring yourself to a different state. Yes. In martial arts, the, in the Japanese, the word is kiai. In uh, Korean, the word kiak. It translates to, it's ki, is like chi, uh -huh. ki, energy. It, it's a spirited yell. That's the translation of both those spirited words. Spirited yell. Spirited yell. So yelling with spirit, yelling with attitude. I love it. When you go to lift yeah. something heavy, right, you grunt. Your body, yes. rah, you try to lift and, you, and you're lifting yourself up and you're using your voice to, to as a way to synergi synergetically enhance your body's performance. Yes, you get kicked in the stomach and a natural reaction, you want to let out the air right. and make a sound to prevent yourself from getting injured. Exactly. It's a I've had the misfortune of getting the wind knocked out of me. <laughs> And, How many times? You know, I and, say. And, and well, yeah, <laughs> right, in, the, in the study of martial arts, but and, but the prevention of that is is to allow the breath out. Um, the prevention when you when you get hit, the prevention of in, exasperating the injury is to let go. Yes, yes, it's, and to let it out, and and, and to yes. let it happen, and let it flow through you. And and I know that uh, you know if you if you study different arts like um, like Tai Chi, uh -huh. in Tai Chi, breath work is extremely important because it, it, it represents the, the continuity of the flow of life. Breathing is like the ocean. Breathing is like the, the cycle of day and, and night. It's breathing is a way of increasing your connection to the rhythm of everything. Nice. Now, can we talk about Tai Chi for a sure, moment? Sure, absolutely. You teach Tai Chi I, you know, here I have, at Agora yes, Karate. I, I have taught, we have a teacher here that teaches, I've studied Tai Chi. Tai Chi's been one of these uh, amazingly multi, multi-faceted studies that I will do and will do for the rest of my life. We have a, tai, a standing Tai Chi program here. Miss Madison teaches a wonderful program. It is such a great adjunct to uh, martial arts study in general, but you know, you know what actually got me started on Tai Chi, personally, was I started studying karate, and karate is a very rigid, in some respects, art compared to something like Tai, tai Chi, and, and I, would, I was constantly being told to relax. Relax, 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 relax. Okay, well, how can you relax? How do you relax? When you're uh, right, exactly. So, so uh, someone had mentioned Tai Chi as a way of, 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 of <laughs> we, exactly, we, as a, as a way of, of of bringing that relaxation. And so I went and I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to study Tai Chi. And I go and, and the first person I studied Tai Chi with was uh, at Pierce College, um, with a wonderful woman's teaching class there. And I and I get in there and I get in the first class and I do my first movement. She walks up and she goes, 
Just relax. Oh, she said it too <laughs> right away. <laughs> I have to so, pay good money right, to have someone else right. tell me to relax. So, yeah, right. just need a, a sign somehow. Chill out. Yeah, exactly, right, exactly. <laughs> You know, we were talking about words earlier, uh -huh. and you know, and if I tell you relax, and if I tell someone else relax, that's going to mean two different things. To oh different yeah, people. yeah, definitely. So what relaxation? I'm too busy. Yes, exactly. Uh, I'm too busy defensive. to relax. Defensive. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Meditation. Ooh, that's yes. a big one. And what what uh, what Tai Chi practice taught me is that relaxation, when they're talking about, is just allowing yourself to go back to your nature, what is natural for your body. Okay. That's what Tai Chi really is. It's a way of reconnecting. So. Infants are Tai Chi experts. Ah. Then, as they get older, they learn all of these other concepts which move them away from that. Yes. And Tai Chi is a way of returning to that natural state. Yes. Yes. That's, that's, that was the big takeaway from the whole thing. Oh, I get it. I'm really doing nothing. Yes. Relaxing yes. is doing nothing. Just do nothing. Well, the more you try to relax, that undoes everything, exactly, too. Exactly, exactly. Because just, in meditation classes, I definitely teach people, close your eyes and go back to where before you had a name. Yes. Before right. you were anybody. It yes. doesn't matter yeah. who you are. Yeah. Tao is the theme that runs through everything. It's just a matter of letting go of the layers. Nice. And the, pra the practice of the movement in Tai Chi, they call it um, dry land swimming. Uh -huh. Swimming on dry land. Uh -huh. So. If we, if we go in the ocean and we, when, when we move our hands through the waves of the water, we can feel the water and it's because it's present and it creates pressure against our body. Yes. Well, the fact is that we're standing right here and we're in the atmosphere. The yes. atmosphere causes pressure in our body, but we don't, we're not aware of it because we've tuned it out. Yes. So when you do dry land swimming, you're reminding yourself that, oh wow, we're actually in an atmosphere and, and feeling its presence is a yes. way of bringing you back to that state of wholeness. Nice, yeah. nice. And that, that energy, like yes. we were talking about, you can feel somebody's you energy when they come into the room. Every little cell between us is feeding information to Absolutely. the other person. Right. You know, you can get into a room and you know who you're drawn to right. or who not, right. and it's okay. And, and, and if more people would pay attention to that, yes. I, I feel like they'd find a congruence in their life that was yes. a lot better, more yes. pleasurable. Yes, 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 definitely. Nice, nice. Thank you so much. Now, before we conclude, yes. I want to talk about one other kind of a practice that you've tried before. And I hope it's okay. I mentioned oh, of course. This. And we're we're yes. going to talk about Bikram yoga. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes on my show, yeah. on my podcast, I do Wacky Wednesday. Yes. And one of these days, I got to talk about this. What not to do yes. is sometimes the topic right, on exactly. my podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. do you mind sharing your uh, what not to do? <laughs> did I tell you? Did I tell you my first date story? With yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And, and, do you and mind? I, no, not yeah. at all. No, okay. No, just, okay, you guys get ready. Yeah, Pretend so, it's Wacky Wednesday. Right. right so, now. Um, yeah. If you're, if not, you're not familiar, do. it's hot yoga, and yes. it, and, and so so typically in hot yoga, you you wear very little because. You're and hot and sweaty. Yeah, exactly. And it's and 100 so, degrees yeah, in the room? Yeah, so, yes. I think it's, uh, yeah, maybe more, yeah. yeah. Maybe more, yeah. Maybe more. Yeah, there, and there. you have to bring gallons of water. You right. have to drink like yes. a gallon of water before you yeah. go in the room because you know you're going to sweat a lot. And, the, and, the, and they're very set postures, and it's and it's wonderful, and I love the experience. Had you ever done it before? No. Uh, okay. Yes, wait, actually, that's not true. I had done it one time uh, here locally, and... It was uh, it was a different experience. Okay. It was, it was it was more like Bikram light, so okay. I, I didn't get the same experience. Oh, but so I you went, went a little heavier duty. Well, uh, yes, because this, you okay, know, being, being a you know being oh, a yes. black belt in martial artist, you always want to you know step, you know, step up. Right? <laughs> and so I had um, I made the acquaintance of someone, and I and I thought it'd be great for our first date to go and do a Bikram yoga class <laughs> first together. First date, you which guys. Is, uh, first not, not date. Not recommended. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, so we went to this place, and then you know, and then uh, you know, wearing um, something like akin to you know, biker shorts, and and uh, and, uh, and and dripping sweat, and, and then having these all these unusual postures, and uh, it just uh, it just put a different twist on the whole first date thing. That Literally, I, yeah, twist. Really, yeah. <laughs> 
Did you have a second date? Uh, well, you know, it, it didn't really <laughs> pan out. And I'm not going to blame it on the Bikram Yoga, but I'm just going to say that that's, um, that's something you should experience maybe with people you're more familiar with or uh, yes. on your own. And then, then you can branch out into new experiences. It's very courageous. Yeah, that yeah. is courage. Yeah. We were talking about getting past your yes. fear. Yeah. Sometimes you might need to listen to that fear a little better. Yeah, it, 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 right, exactly. You have to tune in. <laughs> Thank you so much for My sharing pleasure. that. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me, with all of us right here. Conrad Ercolano, Agora Karate, Thank you. Southern California. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching or listening, whatever platform you are on. Thank you so much. Tai Chi here yes. at Agora Karate, yes. not just Tang Su Do Karate. Not just Tang Su Do Karate. All ages, by the way, yes. everything. Everybody's welcome here, yes. of course. And we're going to be talking more about all sorts of great stuff because there's such a spiritual connection, frankly. Yep, agreed. Let's talk about it more in another conversation. Absolutely. Wow, I hope you had fun watching that interview. There are others available where we're talking about mindfulness, we're talking about parenting issues, all sorts of great stuff. If you're in the Agora area, make sure you find Agora Karate. Make sure that you subscribe and turn on those notifications for this particular show. I am Maria. This is Strong Body, Strong Soul. You have both of them. I'm just here to remind you.